Hey you guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to my beauty room. I'm super excited because today I'm going to start off by introducing a company that had reached out to me. They're called, they're a professional online eyewear store and they're called Zimpf.com. So it's Z-I-N-F-F.com. <laughs> but anyway, so they reached out to me to see if I wanted to try uh, from their website, any pair of glasses of my choice um, and to review them with my honest review so that that was kind of pretty cool so this is my first little pr little kind of review that i'm going to do for y'all but i gladly did accept their invitation to you know review whether it's good or bad and i did want to bring it to you guys so again their online store is called zimpf.com and i will link it down below just in case you want to browse the site or even order some of these glasses for yourself they have pretty decent prices. They ship globally. And then on their website, they do have an FAQ, uh, frequently asked questions, which I found pretty helpful because a lot of the common questions that people don't um, usually know the answers to, they're all answered there on their website. So again, I'll link it down below. That way you can check it out by yourself. They also have a 30 day fit and style guarantee, which means in 30 days, if they don't fit for any reason, you can return them for the right size. And then also you can also get your money back guarantee. So if you just aren't satisfied with whatever glasses that you choose on their website. Okay, so now brings the glasses that I chose. So I did choose before I put them on, I do wanna discuss these, Look how beautiful these are. So the type of lens that I got is clear as you can see, they're so, so clear, by the way. And then they have a beautiful little detail right there. They're kind of like glittery. It's kind of like an ombre effect glasses. So they do start out with clear and they end, you know, with like a, like a pink color, like a gradient effect. And here's some gold detail right here. I just love the detail, very lightweight. Um, but yeah, so this style is in glitter that's the the frame type it's glitter and then like i said they're clear the frame is clear and then they are cat eye and i did order the size medium but very lightweight as you can see the hinges when i opened it right away for being so like lightweight the hinges are very like sturdy they don't fall so i did love that fact and um they hug my my frame when i put them on it just hugs my eye shape my frame beautifully i like really really i know the glare of the light is not too great but as you can see they fit really really nice i found that when i wore them for the past like week they don't eat since they're so like lightweight they don't fall um they're they're very how do you say lightweight that they don't take off your makeup you know as easily as other like thicker framed glasses heavier glasses and i find that my other glasses compared to these, these ones, I don't have to like be lifting them up. You know what I mean? So they do stay for the most part. I do love the style of it. Um, and yeah, they are super clear. It almost seems like when I put these on, like my vision is even better. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So anyways, you guys, I am going to link there, the, um, the link in the description box. Again, there's zinf.com and they are a professional eyewear store and they do come in like a little box and then they do also have, but I put them in this one cause I already had this one for my other like blue light blocking glasses. But since I got these and I wanna really take care of them, but they do come in a hard cased box and then they also have this, um, here, let me show you, this little lens wipe and which work really good. I've already had to use it once, um, but yeah. So like I said, I do keep them in here and this is how they look and I'm so obsessed with them, you guys. So anyway, so now we're going to move on to my purse collection. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead to my restroom and then we're going to, it's a little bit dirty, so don't mind and then so here is the beginning so i do have a lunch bag here and then i do have my michael kors smaller backpack my little reebok that i hauled at ross it's a cute little mini like gym bag and then i got my juicy couture crossbody. and then we come over here so then i do have this one it's like a large tote from juicy couture 
found that at, I believe, Burlington. And then we come in here. Then I do have another backpack. I think I found this one at Marshall's. Juicy Couture items. This one, Marshall's. And then that one at Burlington. Behind here, I got more Juicy Couture. Different style colors. My coach bag. Juicy Couture velour bag. And then behind there, I got like a pink, like a dusty rose pink crossbody. And then up there, I have um, Juicy Couture like large clutch bags. And then a couple of these from Juicy Couture as well. And then here's like a little makeup bag, I guess, with the velour pale pink. So now we're going to go in here. So I do have a Michael Kors. I love that purse. I forget what they're called, but I just want to show you all what I have. So that one's a very pale pink I found from Ross. It's like a bucket bag. This one's a coach. I forget what year this one came out and what it's called. But it's like the pebble style, black with gold trim. A Dooney and Burke crossbody. I found that one at Dillard's. And then this one's just a random little clutch bag. I think I got this one at Aldo. I'm not too, too sure. So then this one I got as a gift from my mother-in-law. Two, a couple of Michael Kors crossbodies, a black and then a white. Those are so, those come in so handy for like the movies or date night. A Juicy Couture, one that I found at Burlington. Okay, so we're going to move around this way. So this one is an old one I had never used from Aldo. I love the print, by the way. So here's another one, like a snake print. I forget. This is Rosetti, maybe? I'm not too sure. And then here's this one I found at TJ Maxx. It's like a rainbow. Um, so these are pouch like makeup pouches. All right there. Juicy Couture makeup bag. Juicy Couture. Look at this one. I love this one, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's like that velour like style. So, so nice. And then up here, I got another one of those coach purses. It's like a saddle kind of, like a country kind of theme is what I, I gather. So then this one is an old school one, you guys. You remember when these were so popular from... Michael Kors in that crazy. And those are heavy too. So this one, I love this one. It's more of like a like a blush nudie pink from Betsy Johnson. I found that one at Burlington. And then so we go up to here. I do have like little bitty wallets up here. I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview. And then we come right here. So I got another old school Michael Kors. You could tell these are hardly used, you guys. I bought them when they first came out. And then I just, oh, excuse me, this almost fell. Um, yeah, and then look at this one. Check this one out. I got this one at Macy's, I believe. Love that color blue. Okay, um, let's see. So this is like a makeup, like travel bag. A Betsy Johnson travel bag. I have this Juicy Couture purse, brand new. It's never been used, but I did get it um, on eBay. Then we move down here. I do have another velour, like, it's kind of like a beach bag, a tote. So this one is a Kate Spade, old school Kate Spade purse, very pale pink. And then I have this, this is a replica um, LV bag. LV. And then this is a Michael Kors small little purse. I love that purse too. Um, so here's the matching wallet to the coach purse. And then I got a couple of wallets in here, which I've already showed you all these wallets on my wallet collection. So if y'all want to see that, I'll link it down below. These are little crossbody purses right here. And then this one's an actual LV. My LV bag, so that one's been loved a lot. Um, let's see, all those are the wallets that I showed in my wallet collection, all that. So 
So then this one is also a LV replica. And then what do I have back there? Just a wallet, a pink wallet. Okay, so as we come down here, I do have this like mannequin that I got from Home Goods, and I do have more pink purses. So I have my Juicy Couture. Found this one at Burlington. Look how beautiful. And then I found this lanyard at, I think it was Marshall's. And then I do have, this is my newest addition to my collection. So this is also uh, a replica handbag, LV handbag. It's very, very pale pink. I love it. I got this from Susanna. She uh, has an online store called Trendy Gal. Love it. I love how it has the gold chain. And then right here we have a large tote from Steve Madden. I love the pastel colors. Then we also have two more Juicy Couture, per, uh, like a little small backpacks. And then if we go up here, that one I hauled, I think it was at a Ross, Ross Hall, large tote, travel tote. And then up there, that's my travel. I have the strap inside there. It's like a travel makeup tote. And then this one's also an LV replica handbag. And then what else? And then one more bag up there, you guys. It's a Betsy Johnson like travel makeup bag. Okay, you guys. So I went ahead and brought all my purses that were in my other room down here. So these are the ones that I haven't showed you yet. Let's start right here. So this one is kind of like a large bucket bag. What is the brand? Let me see. So that one is Chaps. Thought that was really cute. And then in here, I do have a Jones New York signature, like a, like a little backpack. And I stuff my bags that way they can keep the shape. So there's those two. I have a couple of large bags, like I kind of use them for travel. Um, so this one is Tommy Hilfiger. Jax, get over there. And then an Izod one. So this one is an old school Michael Kors quilted bag. So there's that one. I like how you can use it like as a crossbody. So here's another like small little crossbody bag by Betsy Johnson. The interior looks like that. I thought it's real cute. So this one over here is a guess, like a small crossbody. And then that one and this one are like the same, but of course different brands. I think that one's like a no name brand. It's real cute. So this one is a bucket. I think this is a smaller medium Michael Kors bucket bag. Let me see if I can show you the strap. I like the fact that it's like a shoulder like bag, you know? So there's another, like a no name little backpack. It reminds me of like a Kate Spade. So here's a, what is that one? This one is a Kenneth Cole. That's like an older bag. And that kind of is like this one. This one is a, a relic bag. And then this one, you guys, this one was my first ever coach bag. Love that purse so much. Okay, and then this one is also an older, older bag. It's so crazy, Michael Kors. So I do have the matching wallet to that one and that one. So here we have a Leopard Y2K, like a limited edition Juicy Couture bag. This one I found on eBay. Beautiful. Then this one right here is a little coach bag. Like that. I forget what they're called, but so here's another MK bag. You can tell it's dirty. I use that so much as well. It's like a shoulder bag too. 
then you move on to this one. So this would be a large bucket bag. It's kind of like a navy color of the pebbled leather. Again, it's like a shoulder. And this is my Juicy Couture duffel bag, which Tanya had got it for me because I was on the lookout for this, but we didn't have any over here where I live. So yeah, she sent it to me. Thank you, Tanya. And that would be it, you guys for my like handbag collection. Okay, you guys, so I do want to say thank you for watching my video. Again, also thank you to Zinf for sending me those glasses. And I highly encourage y'all to check out that their online store. So I will link their online shop down in the description box along with my exclusive code, um, like a discount code for you guys that they did um, offer me to give to you and I will link all the information down below so go check them out you guys I will see you on the next one bye